Welcome to Great Bear Tales, an authentic look at the people, places, and stories of the Great Bear Rainforest. Subscribe, like, leave a comment below. Rich in West Coast folklore and steeped in British Columbia's cannery history, the Inverness Passage and Skeena's own cannery row, Big Coast. The history of salmon canneries on the Pacific coast is woven into the fabric of British Columbia. And nowhere is that history as rich and diverse as here on the Inverness Passage and at this national historic site, the North Pacific Cannery. First of all, there are 223 odd canneries on the North Coast. Here on Inverness Passage, there were five. So we're plunk in the middle of the five. Well, the first cannery was the one downstream from us, Inverness Cannery. It was built in 1877. We were built in 1889. We are the oldest intact cannery because we have all of the uh, support buildings uh, surviving as well as the main canning building. That initial period of time, it was really service only by stern wheelers and quite a small operation. The railway didn't go in until 1914. When the train came in, it expanded who could work here. It meant that uh, the villages, uh, the Gikasan and uh, Nishka villages, they could hop on the train and come here and work for the season. And of course, coastal Shimshan people as well. And First Nations had fished for thousands of years. And when it was discovered by those who had moved here, how bountiful the fish was, it really became one of the founding industries. And of course, with the canning technology, it meant that it could also really be an export industry as well. So it really boomed and it pushed the development all up the coast here in BC. Canneries were vital to communities and economies in early days, and often housed amenities from general stores, to hotels, to bowling alleys, doctors and blacksmiths. Everything that makes up the site, you know, the, the cultural and natural landscape, the uh, industrial architecture, uh, the housing, the machinery, it all isn't going to come round again. And it was such um, a force in building this province. And if you ask people that visit, that's what they love. It's the experience. They say they're going back in time. You can't capture that in a book. A Canadian heritage site of the tallest order, the North Pacific Cannery and Museum harken back to early coastal days and a way of life long since automated. Thanks for watching Great Bear Tales. If you have any comments, questions, tips for visitors, or just want to share your own story from the Great Bear Rainforest, please leave them below. We read every post. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Great Bear Tales channel. It really does make a difference.